We all know Pokemon from their successful animated cartoon show to their successful video games like Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green to their more recent games like Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, which sold 3.7 million copies in the US less than two weeks after their release. Although Pokemon is famously cheery, it also has its fair share of dark and sinister urban legends. One of those legends is a story surrounding the theme song of Lavender Town, which is an eerie song that starts playing once the character reaches Lavender Town in the game Red, Blue, and Green. This urban legend is widely known as the Lavender Town Syndrome. Following the release of Pokemon Red and Green in Japan, there were a number of reported child suicides. The cause of this sudden rise in child suicides varies depending on the story, but the most common reason was due to very high frequencies in the original Lavender Town theme song. These very high frequencies were only audible to younger kids between the ages of 10 and 15. These frequencies would very often cause severe nausea, painful headaches, and would ultimately lead these children to hurt themselves. It's scientifically proven that humans are born being able to hear a wide range of frequencies, but we can't hear everything. Taking that into account, Lavender Town Syndrome is a very possible scenario. In order to protect the Pokemon franchise, Nintendo later altered the theme songs in future versions and removed the high-pitched sound, making it a bit more cheerful in the process. So was there really a mass suicide of children in Japan playing the original red and green games? Or is Lavender Town Syndrome just another urban legend? I'll leave that for you to decide. <laughs>